This reason number, I would say number 19 on why I, no, this is number 20. Number 19 or 20 on why I stopped smoking weed. Let me say that. Every time I would smoke weed, I would have like either some crazy ass dreams or I would have a crazy ass person approach me or it would be a crazy ass situation. It's one of the three. I was in downtown Atlanta. I had my books and everything in my hand walking. This lady in a wheelchair asked me how to get to Alabama. I was like, okay, what you do? You walk, you go up here. I did say walk, but I was like, okay, I'm not really walk. You go here. You go to this first light, make a right, and you'll be right on Alabama Street. So she said, no, not Alabama Street, Alabama the state. So I look at her and I see that she got luggage on her hover round. It's so heavy that like her wheels tilted up. Like when she stopped, it was like she didn't have any shocks, but it was just, it made it balance. It was like, you know, she was like that. And so I'm like, yo, this lady got to be kidding, man. I know she's not asking me how to get to Alabama. And then she said she's trying to get to Birmingham, Alabama. I'm like, Birmingham, Alabama? I walked away from her for the simple fact that I was high when that happened. So now in my moment of being high, you approach me asking me how to get to Birmingham, Alabama in a wheelchair. When I'm thinking you saying Alabama Street, which is at the next light, you make a right. I'm arguing with her over that. It fucks me up because as I walk away, I wanted to go back and give her $10 for gas. And I'm saying to myself, why the fuck am I giving her $10 for gas when a wheelchair don't even take gas? Then I got concerned about her wheels. Was she going to make it? Like stupid shit like that. That was why I stopped smoking weed. I don't like crazy situations like that shit. No, um, you all can have it.